everyone now in this video i will be introducing you with the latest product from m5 stack company called m5 stick c so in this video i will let you know the features and the configurations of this m5 stick c and i will also let you know how to quickly get started with this m5 stick c using our arduino ide and i will also test some of the examples which are provided by the m5 stack company uh, by using the arduino ide only so watch this video till the end and i will let you know everything regarding this latest m5 stick c device so let's get started so this is how i received this m5 stick c and i don't think this is the commercial packaging because uh, look at this this was the fire development kit from the same company and this was the commercial packaging which includes not only the product but all other components as well which are which which are required for utilizing this particular product okay so this is what i received from this company and uh, i don't think this is the commercial uh, version of this uh, product i think this is the beta version of this product because uh, you know there was one type of contest uh, to get this particular device so what you need to do you just need to order this particular device from aliexpress at uh, one dollar only and uh, then you need to submit one of the video which covers m5 stack product so i do have one video regarding this m5 stack fire development kit so i just ordered this particular device from aliexpress i submitted my video and i was eligible to get this device at my home I don't know if the company starts selling this kind of product commercially as soon as you are watching this video and if they are selling this product I will definitely attach the buying link in the description of this video so do check out if you find the link then you are lucky to buy this particular device so let's just see what are the configurations or what are the uh, buttons or how many buttons are provided in this particular device so this time they haven't provided any leaflet kind of thing which they used to provide in the other products so what we will do we'll just go to their website and on the website they have provided all the details regarding this particular product so as you can see this is the latest 2019 m5 6c i will attach the link of this page in the description of this video so here is the description about this particular uh, M5 Stick C and as you can see here the all the things is perfectly labeled okay so this particular device includes a 3D antenna which was also included in all the M5 Stack devices then it has LED built in which is somewhere here then we have also an IR transmitter LED that is also nice then moving uh, below we have this power on power off button or we can say the reset button here so as you can see here it is mentioned at 6 seconds to turn it off so we just need to press and hold this for 6 seconds if we want to turn off this device and if you want to turn on you need to press and hold for 2 seconds okay then we have a mic somewhere inside this particular slit under this M5 label then this M5 particular thing is a button which is labeled as button A so this is a button okay so on the top we have this uh, 0.96 inch color lcd display then inside this we also have a 6 axis imu which will be uh, very useful for motion sensing projects okay then on the back side we have this uh, external pins in, in which we have three gpio pins accessible to us and the rest of the pins are for power sources okay then on the left hand side here we also have a button which is labeled as button b so we can use it for our projects then on the downside we have this groove connectors in which we get again two gpio pins to use for our purposes then we have a type c port okay so all the empire stack devices have this type c port then below here they also mention the pin configuration for example they have built-in led which is attached to this gpio 10 then they have built-in ir transmitter which is attached to gpio 9 and likewise they have mentioned everything perfectly inside this uh, particular page okay then uh, yeah the this particular device also has an 80 milliampere hour battery in build so this has a battery built in which has a quite low capacity but uh, hey this kind of devices are targeted to make some variable kind of projects which do require very low power and yes i forgot to mention that this particular m5 stick c has esp32 pico chip built in now if you want to know what's the difference between the esp32 and esp32 pico then uh, just go to this uh, data sheet and uh, you get this kind of page here okay esp32 pico d4 which is the chip which is built in or on which this product is based on if you want to learn the simplest difference of esp32 and esp32 pico chip then you just need to read read out this particular line 
With its ultra small size and robust performance and low energy consumption, ESP32 Pico D4 is well suited for any space limited or battery operated applications such as wearable, electronics, medical equipment, sensors and other IoT products. So ESP32 Pico is targeted for wearable or low power application projects and so ESP32 Pico is perfect for this kind of tiny IoT products and low power applications. Okay, so this is all about the hardware and the overview of this particular product. Now let's just start this device and let's see what we get by default in this particular product. So we'll press and hold this button for two seconds at least. And yes, this device turned on and uh, its Wi-Fi test program is running. And uh, yeah, that was pretty much it, I think. I just press and hold again Wi-Fi test and turned off I think that must be uh, the battery problem the battery must be low inside this particular device okay no problem so what we'll do I'll quickly move on to my laptop and start the Arduino IDE and let's see how to use this particular device using an Arduino IDE so we'll first of all open up Arduino IDE on our laptop and by the time I will connect this uh, ESP32 Pico based product with my type C USB cable. The USB cable is not provided in this particular uh, product, but I don't know if the commercial version may have this uh, USB cable inside it. Can't say anything right now. Okay, so I just uh, connected this USB type C cable. So what we need to do, first of all, before using this particular product, you must have all the ESP32 boards installed on your Arduino IDE. Now, if you don't know how to install the ESP32 boards, I will suggest you kindly watch out this video in which I have explained how to install the ESP32 boards on our Arduino IDE. After successfully installing the ESP32 boards, what you need to do, you just need to go to sketch, include library, into manage libraries. Now here, you need to search for M5STICK-C. So I will just uh, click on this filter your search and will type as M5STICK-C. And as you can see, uh, here is the M5STICK-C by M5STICK-C version 0.0.2. So right now, this is the latest version. So I, in my case, it is already installed, but you need to install this on your system if you are using this for the first time, okay? then let's just click on close. So this is all you need to do or this is the basic setup before getting started with this ESP, uh, M5 Stick C. ESP32 board should be installed and the M5 Stick C library should be installed. Then you are ready to use this particular product. So what we'll do, we'll, click, uh, we'll go to the files, examples, then on the down we should get this M5 Stick C. Okay, here is the M5 Stick C and here we have advanced and basic code. So let's just test this uh, basic code only for display. Let's go for the display first. So we'll maximize this and uh, yeah, this is the code. Now what we need to do, we need to just select the right board and right board to upload this particular code inside it. So we'll go to the tools and for this particular uh, M5 Stick C, you need to select this ESP32 Pico kit as this is based on the ESP32 Pico chip, okay? So you, you need to select this Pico kit Okay, so after that you need to select the right port, in my case it is this one and yeah, just click on this upload button and let's see what happens when we upload this kind of code, okay. And it shows connecting, fatal error occurred, timed out, waiting for packet header. Okay, so it says done uploading and uh, why? let us open the serial monitor. And yes, it is perfectly working. Yeah, so this is perfectly working. So the problem was the uploading rate, uploading speed was pretty much high and I just lowered down the uploading rate at 11.5200 and the program was successfully uploaded. Now let us try uploading another example code and see uh, what happens because in this particular example code, what we are getting is the data of all the inbuilt sensors. Nothing else we are getting this particular factory test example. So let's just try out uh, uploading some another example which is, this is one is the microphone example. So let's just see the uploading rate is selected or not. So uploading speed is here 11.5200. Let us click on this upload button. So, and see what happens in this microphone example code. Okay, as you can see it is done uploading and let's just test what, how this example code works. 
So let me just zoom it in and then you will be able to see the response on this tiny little screen. So as you can see the waves are formed as per the sound responses. So this is how you can easily upload the code from your Arduino IDE to this tiny little M5 Stixer device. And uh, what you can make using this particular device is you can make a tiny little IoT button for your different kind of projects. You can make a smart watch. Many of many of the people have made the smart watch using this particular M5 Stick C. Then you can make a, a IR remote maybe because it has an IR LED or IR transmitter built in. Then you can make a portable stock market monitoring device. Then uh, many many projects you can make using this particular M5 Stick C device. I told Really love the design of this particular M5 Stick C and I will definitely try to make some amazing projects using this particular M5 Stick C. So yeah, this was all about the getting started video of this M5 Stick C device. Subscribe my channel if you want to know what kind of projects I will be making using this particular M5 Stick C device. And yeah, if you are new to my channel, let me tell you, in my channel, you will be getting some interesting and amazing IoT automation and electronic related projects. Not only that, you will also get some explained videos on different technologies, different topics, different uh, sensors. Then I also used to make some short but useful videos which are popularly known as the SDUs. And I'm also introducing my subscriber with this latest IoT and electronics related products which may prove very useful to all the makers and engineers out there. So yeah, do subscribe my channel if you are interested in any of the topic which I discussed right now. So wait for my next video until then explore, learn, share with me Techie SMS. <laughs>